a tried and tested solution is that you demonstrate how things are going to be different now. You demonstrate thoughtfulness, you demonstrate good judgment, you demonstrate good communication, you demonstrate good execution, you demonstrate the desired impact. That's the way to build trust or rebuild trust with with senior execs, senior stakeholders. Right? And that will take time. That's why I'm saying there's no easy way to do it. That will take time. In some cases, you want to be given a chance to be able to do that. And so you want to focus the actions that you would take in this situation towards getting that chance. And this is where you want to likely leverage your manager or somebody senior, somebody with uh, a lot of credibility. And it doesn't have to be your manager. It might be an engineering partner. It might be a design partner. It might be somebody else. Find the people who have a lot more credibility in the org and who perhaps have a lot more cred credibility with these stakeholders or these senior folks. Find those people and have an honest discussion with them. Most people try to avoid that discussion because most people try to avoid this kind of unpleasant discussion, but you can do it. You can go to your engineering counterpart if he or she is very well regarded in the org. By the way, this only works if they regard you well. If they think you are not doing well, then it's pointless. They need to be an advocate of yours. So you're not asking them to do something, but get their advice on how you can rebuild your reputation uh, or build that trust with uh, senior stakeholders. And you know what? People love giving advice. I'll give you another tip. This is a beautiful question to ask. And guess what? This specific question, these exact words don't get uttered very much in the workplace. But when you utter them, they work like magic, which is, hey, Alice, can I get your advice on something? That's it. Okay. This should be common in the wor workplace, but because in the workplace, we, especially product people, we need to have our guards up and we need to look like we have it all together and we are very powerful. People will go through their entire career, not having uttered these words, which is, can I get your advice on something? And of course they'll say yes. Now you say, Hey, this is the situation. I've noticed that you are able to manage these kind of stakeholder conversations and product reviews really well. What advice do you have for me? Uh, on what I should know and what I should do. So don't use the one conversation as an end all be all, which is at the end of this conversation, I need Alice to commit that she is going to lobby for me with the CEO. Then it's not going to work because then Alice is going to feel like you're trying to use her credibility for your benefit. So instead you can exercise more control by giving up control. This is a very paradoxical thing. It's actually also a big uh, lesson in Eastern philosophy. Uh, if you read the Tao Te Ching and other kind of Hindu philosophy and whatnot, the best way to exercise control is to give up control. So try to give up control of the conversation because you'll find that these advocates will perhaps suggest some paths. But now that they've suggested a path, they're now more bought into your success. Use that in the current conversation or the next conversation you have. You kind of want to make progress that way. So explore those avenues as well in the short term while you work in the long term to actually show the impact that will rebuild trust.